Hey there, Lincoln County. This is Dr. Allen coming to you this week from our Gaston College Lincoln campus with my guest, Joanne Matz and Jennifer Nichols, both with Gaston College. Um, this week, this is our core communication for uh, February the 23rd, 2023. And remember, we are in the middle of CTE, Career Technical Education Appreciation Month in February. And part of that Career Technical Education Appreciation celebrates our partners at our local college, Gaston College, and all the stuff that we're doing in partnership with them to make our career readiness um, opportunities for our kids, um, even in kindergarten up to 12th grade, a reality for them going forward. So ladies, um, my first question for y'all in this opportunity to share a little bit about what Gaston's doing. Um, career planning is, is, we've been talking about that for the last couple of weeks. We have career plans in middle school. We have career planning in high school. We're getting ready to do registration. What is it though that how Gaston can, can plug itself into career planning in elementary, middle, and high school that you want to share with us? Oh, well, I'll, I'll take this one if that's okay. Um, so at Gaston College, we at the end of the day, we want to spread awareness to our elementary students about who we are and that we exist and what we, what we can do and kind of open their eyes to the educational realm. So that's kind of our focus with our elementary kiddos. Uh, middle school is where we really start digging in a little bit deeper though, I'm not going to lie. We've got visits, we have tours, we go out and visit those groups and those, in those individual schools uh, because we not only want them to know that we exist, we want them to know about how we can help them meet their career goals because that's really where a lot of the digger dive into the career exploration goes yeah. into play and so yeah. we want them to know how Gaston College can fill that need for them. And then once we get into the high school though, Honestly, there's a solid number of your students that are participating in our college now, which is our dual enrollment program, which is an awesome opportunity. Um, but we're also expanding those opportunities in Lincoln campus uh, specifically, um, where we're bringing more opportunities starting this next school year um, to the Lincoln campus. And so that's exciting. That's new uh, programming that we're offering. That's going to be specific to Lincoln County students. So that's just for Lincoln County schools. Um, and so we're really excited about the growing opportunities that we have for our high school students, not just the dual enrollment that they were already taking advantage of, Although we do still get lots of parents who say, I didn't know about that. Yeah. So we'd like to work a little bit harder on getting that word out, but I think a lot of people don't read too, yeah. So because I don't think it's a lack of trying. But uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now and how we try to be there for our high school and middle school. And then it's more just like awareness when it comes to our elementary school students. Good deal. All right, so um, share with our folks that are, that are watching this, um, the continuum of what I call continuum of opportunities. You talked a little bit about it here a minute ago. Gaston offers, and, I, and I've talked about it down here in my, some of my notes, certifications, credentials, associates, transfer pathways, career college promise courses. I mean, there's a lot of variety here. How do you help make, make sense of it for parents? Right, making sure that our students understand the end goal of what they want and what we understand what their end goal is. And then that way we can backtrack with the parents, with the students, and help them set up the plan. The key here is to make sure that we're meeting their needs or where they want to go so that we can have a plan, it's thorough, it's uh, prescribed, and we're saving them time and money. Yeah. Um, we offer associate's degrees, as you said. We offer uh, certificate diplomas. Um, we have a plethora of TAG. Those are our transfer agreements with our uh, four-year institutions that are growing every year. Everybody's wanting to jump on the transfer train with us at Gaston College and local colleges and, and all around the state. But um, more importantly, just making sure that everybody is aware of a plan and that we're working together. So the partnership in the counseling, the partnerships with uh, and communication with us, we're all connected. And that's what's so exciting about this job and the opportunities that we have right now. And a lot, of those, a, lot of those, a lot of those opportunities can be a kid may come here for a couple of months to a semester to a couple of years, and it's really tailored to whatever, like you, like you said, the need, whether it's work-based need or just self-driven um, opportunities. Okay. Um, talk about the connections that y'all have. You talked about the, the tags, mm -hmm. but, you know, that's the, that's the agreements that you have with, like, NC State or Appalachian and, and those kind of places. But talk about all the connections you have with the UNC system schools, private schools, Lincoln Economic Development, LIDA, and just other organizations to help get kids where they need to go and get employers the, the workforce that they need to get them ready. Mm -hmm. So with our TAG program, I'll just start with that because that's a very popular one. We have basically uh, Associate of Arts, Associate of Science courses that all of our 15 public institutions in the state of North Carolina have signed on to agree to accept for course okay. uh, credit, yep. um, so transfer easy uh, pathway for that. 
Um, so they have to make a certain grade for They have to have a certain grade. There, have, there are certain courses and certain uh, colleges that require certain things, but for the most part, if it's on our list of are you Getsies, are you general ed requirements, then, then they, they're accepted. Okay. They make us see or better. See, see, see or better. better. Okay. See or better. Um, so that is one thing with our TAD programs. But as far as our local, the more that I'm going out into the community right now, my new position, I'm hearing from Lita, uh, from all the, the big industries in Lincoln County, uh, Bloom, Bosch, Timken, uh, how can we help? How can we get involved in um, you know, supporting Lincoln County, supporting Gas and College, supporting our Lincoln County students? And so that's where we're at right now at a very exciting time to create those partnerships um, with, with work-based learning, with internships, with um, coming up with uh, ideas and making sure that our programs are meeting the needs of our industries in the county and our school systems. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Jen, you want to add to that? Oh, I was going to say, we also have a, a pre apprenticeship program, and so that feeds into our apprenticeship program. So that's something that I feel like not a lot of people know about. Um, but it, if a student is participating in a CTE while they're in high school and one of the eligible like advanced manufacturing is a really good example of one of the ones that can be a pre-apprenticeship pathway, that can be either through the Gaston College CTE pathway that we offer through dual enrollment or it can be the one that you're offering at LCSD. Yeah. And so students can be eligible for this pre-apprenticeship program and what that means is they're eligible for our apprenticeships partnerships that we have through the Gaston uh, Apprenticeship 321 program at Gaston yeah. College. And so students can then participate um, in a high school CTE pathway or the dual enrollment CTE pathway that can a designated number of pathways, which I'm happy to email out all you counselors about that. Um, but, but then they are open to be able to participate in our apprenticeship program, which pays for absolutely everything. Got it. Mm -hmm. And they get paid while they're working. There's also that really cool part. You know, and that is, that's one of the kind of um, best kept secrets that if, if parents really knew about the idea of, of apprenticeship programs after high school, that are available through industry and through what Jen just said, um, Apprenticeship 321. Really, you can go to school for free, get paid mm -hmm. to go to school, mm -hmm. um, and, and earn your degree while you go to work and just kind of have the best of both worlds. And it kind of sounds too good to be true, but there's just, there's people that's continuing to tell us that they didn't know about it, they didn't know the opportunity. So remember, get the word out about pre, pre apprenticeships and apprenticeships. And that'll be part of my job too, going into the schools and making Good. sure that they know about it and speaking with the students and the parents and all the fun curriculum nights and career extravaganza nights that I'm going right. to this coming week, actually. Excellent. <laughs> so ladies, um, what's new coming up to this campus here in Lincoln or in Dallas in general for next year, summer and fall? Okay, so Lincoln campus in particular, I'm so excited. We're, we're busy. In a good way, we're getting ready for fall 24 to open up uh, two brand new academies that only Lincoln County Public School students will be um, able to partake in. One of them being the Teacher Academy, which our goal is to start them off with our uh, teacher cadet classes in all four high schools now. And, um, and then continue on with our EDU, our Associate of Arts in Teacher Prep. Uh, and then once they graduate with that, they can go right back into the school system. They're, el they're certifiable to teach as a teacher assistant in North Carolina public schools. So okay. hopefully they stay right here in Lincoln County. That helps your pipeline. That helps your pipeline. And then they can go on to our tags, which I've been reaching out to many local that are really wanting to partner up with our Lincoln County uh, students here and uh, TAs to continue on with their degree. Um, our second academy is, which we're very excited about because we're going to be, you want to say it? No, you go ahead. Uh, you want to say, go ahead, and say we're it. We're very excited. New Health Academy for Practical Nursing in particular. Um, that's going to allow students to get their practical nursing credential while they're still in high school. Um, this is the first in the state of North Carolina. Yeah. Um, we are very excited. And this is yeah, a brainchild of this man right here. So, and, and our president at the Gaston College. So I'm really, really excited about all the fun things that they have been given, afforded us the opportunity to do. We're gonna be partnering with Atrium Health. Yep. Um, so it will not just be with us. Uh, it's gonna be Gaston College, Atrium Health, and Lincoln County Schools. And we are so excited to launch this this year. You will be hearing a lot more about this to come. Yes. For sure. Yes. And Lincoln Campus, like you said, the Atrium Hospital. So it's another good thing to keep it local. And that's really what we wanted to do. We wanted to make sure that we're keeping it local, that we're reaching our people in Lincoln County yep. and keeping, again, the pipeline alive right here. Um, and they don't have to drive down to Gastonia. They don't have to drive down to Charlotte. They don't have to drive anywhere for their, their uh, clinicals or anything right here in Lincoln County. 
Yeah, definitely want to give a plug. A lot of people had to put a lot of work into making this happen on, on Gaston's uh, side and, and our staff, but you know, this really um, answered a need from our local health care that they needed more options to get more um, nurses in, and this was a, a pathway that was not really explored in North Carolina. It's explored in some other states, but hasn't really been, been asked and, and approved here yet. So we are kind of leading the way and we're, we're excited about that opportunity to be the first, but also just how it answers the call for um, our hospital and nursing care, uh, doctor's offices, all that kind of stuff here locally. Um, the right. agricultural uh, oh, yeah, certificate, right. that was one thing also, really <coughs> just speaking of Lincoln County, um, that is right now proposed and we're, we're very close to getting that all taken care of and uh, that will be the agricultural science certificate. And that's important too, we have three ag programs in our high schools, um, Asbury, East Lincoln, West Lincoln, but definitely is a path that is, is rural and as is, is important as farming is into this community and agritourism, that's definitely a needed uh, pathway to help kids uh, be successful in that. All right, so last but not least, any final thoughts you want to share just about anything Gaston College specific? Well, next Tuesday, February the 27th, we are going to be having a CTE roadmap event at Gaston College starting at 530. We would absolutely love for yeah, anyone to come. It is on the Dallas campus. Okay. Um, but we are going to be highlighting all these programs there as well. So if you have any questions or have any students interested in learning more, that would be a great opportunity for them to come back in. It is on the Dallas campus, but um, Tuesday. it is Tuesday the 27th at 530. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So definitely thank you ladies thank for bringing, you too. bringing thank a lot you. of information, but definitely um, the, the work that is put in behind the scenes to make all this happen um, does not go unnoticed. So I definitely appreciate these two and all the partners that we have with Gaston College and in our staff to make sure our kids have opportunities. All right, a couple of announcements this week as I finally find them on my sheets here. A couple of uh, things to bring to your attention. Conference basketball tournaments um, um, are getting started this week. We'll end up today, uh, this weekend, we'll be able to announce uh, the champions tonight. And so definitely congratulations and look forward to Lincoln County showing out in our two conferences that our high schools are a part of. Middle school spring sport tryouts are also continuing. Uh, their season starts in a few weeks, so look for the trial information on their school's website. High school sports have already begun their spring season. <clears throat> excuse me. A couple of them had uh, conference, or excuse me, scrimmages this past week, and they definitely are, are in the mix of getting started for their uh, season this year. Uh, we are also in the middle of kindergarten registration. That extends through March the 15th at your child's um, home school in your community. If you have any questions, uh, you need help with that, you can call our office and we can find that school that's in your area. But that goes through March the 15th. And then today at School of Tech, um, and we will also be having our eighth grade tours of East Lincoln High School and School of Tech tours for our East Lincoln Middle School students as they explore their options as they get ready to transition into high school for next year. Um, looking ahead to next week, our high school Battle of the Books teams will com be competing on the 28th. Our middle school Battle of the Books teams will be competing on March the 1st. All those that are, are at our offices and if you haven't uh, excuse me if you haven't thought about the amount of books that our kids are having to read for battle of books it is amazing that they read the volume of books they do to compete and so it's definitely a good good event to watch we are having a district literacy event um, at our office as well on the 26th that is um, um, from five to seven come out and, and learn about uh, things that you can do to help your child at home with their literacy and their learning especially with all the new science of reading materials and how we teach reading at the younger ages. Definitely parents come out to this event to learn more. And then last but not least, I want to put a plug in for the East Lincoln Drama Department. They're putting on the musical SpongeBob, the musical at the East Lincoln Black Box Theater, and that is March 7th through the 17th. You can get tickets online. We want to give a shout out to three businesses in Lincoln County that help support us, Westall Contracting and Construction Management, Southern Piedmont Mediation, and ProMotion Motor Company, thank you for all that you do for the support of Lincoln County Schools and students. Parents, that's all the announcements we have for this week. Remember what it means to help us to teach your children to be safe and kind to others in their actions and their words. God, have a good weekend.